The third and final stage is placing the correct amount of bioceramic to the required working length. I have a fantastic instrument called the Zmug Shavit pellet former and I hope I've pronounced that correctly. To use this instrument correctly, you cut a GP point to the relevant apical diameter. In our case with this, it's a 90. We know the width of the pellet former is 3.5 millimeters. Therefore, we take our custom GP point and cut 3.5 millimeters off the end. We are now ready to load the pellet former, and in this case, I'm using Wellroot PT Bioceramic Putty. The pellet former is then loaded to our desired diameter. Again, in our case, it's 90. Then the custom GP point is used to pick up this pellet and it's almost beautiful to see. Notice what we have now. We have 3.5 millimeters of the pellet on the end of the custom GP point, but the whole length of both the bioceramic plug and the GP point is the working length of the tooth. This in theory is then used to place the pellet to the correct working length of the tooth. Once the initial pellet is placed, a radiograph is then taken to confirm if it is at the correct working length and if the volume is also correct, ideally 5mm. In this case, it was at a good length, but not enough bioceramic to fill approximately 5mm from the apex. Further obturation with bioceramic is required then, and the pellet former also has the ability to create generic size pellets to aid in placement. Once the bioceramic putty is packed into the pellet former, these pellets can then be easily picked up with a Mach 2 plugger and placed within the apical third of the tooth. Remember, gentle compaction.